But it's going on, what is going on, what is going on, YouTube? You know it's your boy Cesar's come back to you with a brand new video. And today, uh, it's been a you know a little bit. We gotta go over a lot of stuff. First and foremost, today we will be doing our very first fusion for myself in Pokemon Go because I wasn't I didn't want to do it off camera for you guys, and uh we just caught some great things, and plus today is also the better to uh better together Pokemon Go event going down with the brand new debut of Tandem Mouse. So why not try to grab that while we can? All right, let's head to the park and let's get some of the show on the road i'll catch you guys soon hey okay, so we're popping off i'm kind of glad i actually came out here we just got ourselves a shiny binacle and literally i didn't show you guys when i was over there recording my last clip but we got a shiny that we've been waiting a very long time for this is one that i don't didn't have before but we actually caught it let's check the ivs on this one first uh zero zero star it's not really that good but we just got ourselves just before this clip you guys didn't see i showed the little clip right here we got ourselves a galarian meowth my very first shiny galarian meowth in any game in any game i don't even have it in the main game so this right here is actually a very good addition to the team i literally got it before i recorded my last clip ivs on it not good either but man we I, if they would have said it, we had this much, uh, you know, shiny potential, I would have been out here hunting since it started this morning. But I, I sadly I couldn't. And now we're headed there. There's so much, so much more that I want to show you guys. And uh, we're almost at the park. So let's let me get it. Give me a little bit. We'll be there shortly. Okay. So now that we've made it to the park, I wanted to go ahead and start by um, start this uh, little thing by going ahead. In doing what we've been I, i've been personally waiting for for a very long time as i mentioned during gold fest i did a ton of raids i did over 100 and maybe 25 raids and i got myself in terms of necrozma we got ourselves three shiny necrozma none of them are generally that good i think this one is our best right here but we also got ourselves the freaking best one that i could even ask for where is it i think it's this one right here no 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 you keep going through this one right here the 2630 we got ourselves a hundred percent iv necrozma so with that being said i think we're going to go ahead and fuse them we do still have cosmong but i don't want to do that uh i want to do one shiny of each of the versions and then i also want to do a hundred percent lunar wing because lunar wing is currently i think better than um what is it uh dust main um lunata so uh dust main necrozma so in that case for this 2549 we're going to go ahead and fuse this over to our very first shiny lunar wings new lunala in pokemon go uh Lu lunar wings uh necrozma i keep saying lunala there you go shiny lunar wing necrozma and look at that register to the pokedex it looks freaking amazing right there that is a and then you also get the new adventure effect it allows you for 10 minutes attract pokemon found at nighttime for and evolution for nighttime for the day so i wonder if this stacks with the dialga um one but i don't think it does it does have moon guys beam and metal claw um ivs on it are not really that good but still something that we can look forward to and you can obviously uh, uh you can obviously separate it but i'm gonna just keep it together for right now uh actually no we're gonna separate this one because um oh wait it depends on how much actual energy i actually have because if i don't have a lot of energy then i won't separate it okay yeah we could do one more fusion um i'm going ahead and uh fuse this one with soul galeo and go ahead and get this one into the pokedex but i'm going to defuse the other one and fuse it back into my 100 iv because as i mentioned it is the best one i still do have another cosmog that i can evolve over to lunala so we'll actually keep that one and keep this one in the pokedex as well so there you go dust main necrozma in pokemon go ivs on it not really that good but max defense so we're going to go ahead and separate this one real quick it's going to be uh, separation this is what the separation screens it goes back to like looking angry and stuff it's kind of nice it's actually pretty pretty dope looking and let's go ahead and put this one into our fuse this one back up into our lunala and uh get ourselves the regular version of necrozma with that being said this is our 100 iv'd moon geist beamed shiny uh, necrozma uh what is it lunar wings they got metal claw let's actually give it a new attack because this one i'm going to keep it the same um 
It's a ghost and psychic. Let's see what kind of uh, moves we can actually keep on it. See what, what kind of moves. So you get outrage, future sight. So we want, we clearly want future sight on it. Um, so let's go ahead and try to see if we can grab that one. It's probably gonna take us a little bit. There you go, future sight. And then let's see what kind of regular, you can get shadow, shadow claw and cycle cut. I'm feeling like shadow claw will probably be a better move for it. So hopefully we get it right here. Um, one more metal claw. We don't need metal claw. Why is metal claw even an attack? There you go, shadow claw. And then, um, you know what? Why not power this thing up? Because it's actually good. I have 5 million Stardust. It's going to be 4634. One of my strongest Pokemon in my account. Uh, I think it's actually going to be my strongest Pokemon. And uh, we got the energy for it. And we got the Stardust. And we got the uh, XL candy. So I'm going to go ahead and 50 max this guy right now. This is our brand new 4634 dust main no uh lunar wings necrozma in our account probably the strong one of the strongest let's go ahead and add these two our favorite it and then add these two our tags right there as you can see we're adding it to the 50 max and the goat tag because you can't get no better than this at least for this pokemon in general so now i guess we're hunting for the um what is it the uh this one i keep forgetting the name of it <laughs> We're hunting for that one, but we can also fuse it again. We do have a couple more shiny necrosmas that we can obviously use. But with that being said, um, we do have, oh, well, we completed a couple of field research. I did, and then this is the Pokemon that we're actually looking for. We're looking for the brand new shiny tied up tandem mouse in Pokemon Go. Uh, the, the weird thing with this is if you evolve it, it has a slight chance to evolve to the family of four or the family of three. The family of three is the more much more common one. I think it's like 99% more common than the family of four. So the family of four is a pretty rare one. They're gonna make it pretty hard for you guys to come grab that one if you want it. Uh, it's just a, norm, a regular normal type. The IVs on this one, not that good, but three star, go ahead and favor that one because uh, that's gonna be one that we're gonna hunt it for for a little bit. And then we just still got to send two gifts to friends. I'll do some of that stuff there. But now we're talking about pretend, uh, particularly the shiny Pokemon that we received during Go Fest. I'll go through the list real quick. And not just the shiny Pokemon, I'll just go through all the noteworthy catches that we got during Go Fest. So during Go Fest, I did, I played the whole time in San Francisco, pretty much at the pier. I did raids the first day. And then the second day, I was just mainly playing with friends. We were stopping a lot, doing a lot more routes and party plays. So a lot of the stuff I got came from those adventures in general. But Let's go on down <clears throat> where we started from. We started from this right here. This Pharaoh Seed. This Pharaoh Seed was the start of Go Fest. We got ourselves uh, the first one. Then we got ourselves the Galarian Stump Fist. We got ourselves the Axew. These are all the ones that you guys saw during the Go Fest video. Uh, some hoop hoop. We got ourselves a Pikachu, another Stunfist, another Pikachu, another Ducklet. So that family's completed. A Snivy, a couple of Snivies, a Fomentus that I got from the Go Plus Plus. Now that I think about it, uh, we got our say Hisenia Sneasel, Soul Rocks, two of them, which is actually new shinies that I did not have before this. At least I don't think I did, um, but I got them now. Another Sneasel, one of my more most favorite catches because what ha happened was when this Pokemon came out. Uh, what is it? Shiny Corsolan. When it came out, it was got, came out first in the Air Adventures Okinawa. And if you guys don't know, that's used to that's used to that used to be where I lived. I lived there for three years. And as soon as I left, the Air Adventures Okinawa event came out, and I was so upset because I couldn't get the special Pikachu with the balloons, nor could I get the Shiny Corsolan. But we made our redemption during Go Fest and got it there. And not just one, we got ourselves two of those. You'll see it later. We got ourselves the brand new costume Espeon, which is dope. As I mentioned, another Corsola, a Helium Tile, a Litwick, a Phantom. So now all that family is now complete. We don't need to hunt for that one no more. Got ourselves a new shiny for me, a Volbeat, a Spinarak, the Pikachu with the Moon Crown, a Gibble, another Volbeat with, uh, so that's cool, a Golit and carvanas a couple of carvanas and then i think that's where we ended for day one at the yeah i'm pretty sure that's where we ended for day one at the two carvanas the next day started with a pikachu a stung fist a charmander a ducklet a crab brawler for my very first shiny crab brawler in pokemon go so that's dope we already uh gotten some of the brand new shinies that we don't need to hunt for anymore um a pidgey another Pikachu, 
a grubbing so that means i have two now i just need to get one more to complete the family but we do now have two of these shiny pokemon in our account so we don't need to hunt for this too much more this right here we didn't actually get a Zergatry this day. One of my friends traded me because I actually caught another Necrozma and he didn't have a shiny Necrozma at the time. So he traded me a Zergatry for this one. And uh, IVs on it, actually not, well, max HP, uh, I think that's third, uh, 12 and 11. So 12, 11, 14, no, 15. So not super good, but definitely one that I will be, I'm very happy to have gotten this one right here is uh one of the ones that i probably wasn't going to be able to grab myself if i didn't get it traded to me so now we just need pheromosa and boswell and uh stack attack and bless cephalon so uh, another pharaoh seed another shiny crab brawler so that means the family's completed for me a shiny a brand new shiny for me shiny vola uh this is one that only comes for 12k eggs so i was very happy to have grabbed this one because uh, we actually needed this one we got ourselves another shiny ducklet a shiny Tyrant, so this shiny is completed for me. A shiny Emolga, so this is a new shiny that came out just recently, and I'm glad to have gotten it. A shiny, a very first for me, shiny Wingo. This is a, one of the only shinies, one of the only shinies that I was missing from Gen 3, and we got ourselves it for the very first time. Still need to evolve it, but we do have it in our account. Another shiny Feral Seed ducklet another beldum another shiny necros one that's one of the ones you saw uh sneasel another shiny rock rock this is actually we probably would have had four shiny rock rocks but i was using the go plus a lot and if you guys know go plus always chooses the instance pokemon first so i think three shiny rock rock ran away from me during this whole day so it, it's it's okay i already have the whole family completed but you know a shiny rock rock is still a shiny rock rock but nevertheless got ourselves a shiny sun kern a shiny hoot hoot Two shiny cottonies, shiny Axew, a young goose, a ducklet, Pharaoh seed, another necrozma, and then the uh, uh, final necrozma, a Gligar, Sneasel, Eevee, another Golit, and right here, as soon as Go Fest ended, as soon as I make it home, I check my hatches. We get it. We hatch ourselves a shiny Larvesta. And what was crazy, this wasn't a GoFest hatch. This wasn't the 7Ks. This hatched from a 10K. So that means it was already in there before I went to GoFest because I had another 10K in my egg pool that I didn't um, right after the shiny Larvesta uh, um, event happened. As you can see down here, it hatched from a 10K. So it, right after the shiny Larvesta event happened, I must have spun a 10K and just had it sitting there for a while. Um, IVs on this thing are not great at all literally uh 10 10 10 yeah 10 10 10 but still a very nice uh addition in my account one that i was actually hunting over 200 eggs for and could not get it i had so much um but we still got it nevertheless and then today we got ourselves a shiny meow and a shiny pinnacle so with all that being said i did go over and add all these shinies to our 2024 tag other than the last two i'll add those two right now and we are now sitting at 341 shinies for this year it doesn't seem like a lot but i feel like these shinies hold a lot more weight than the ones that i got in previous years because i actively wanted these and actually hunted a lot for these like it was it's like a lot of shinies that you don't really see too often plus they're pretty much all new for me like a lot of these shinies are brand new for me i didn't have these before with that being said our new shiny tag our new shiny total is at 21 86 shinies in my account but not just shiny pokemon looking at some five star uh pokemon obviously we got ourselves the shiny uh necrozma we did get ourselves a shiny ducklet as no not a shiny ducklet a 100 um ducklet and then we did get ourselves a ton of three star pokemon as you can see most of these pokemon down here are three star got ourselves a couple of three star there and uh all in all go fest was freaking phenomenal i had a great time uh, I had a great time with my friends. I'm so glad and happy that they all came out there with me on Sunday. We had ate some great food um, and I couldn't really ask for a better Go Fest. It felt like just being, it felt like being in an overseas Go Fest as well. But nevertheless, uh, with that being said, now that we've done a little recap, we I haven't completed none of the research, which we probably should do. I know this one's gonna give us more shadow. I still haven't caught that one yet. I didn't want to catch it off camera. We'll probably do that next video. Um, Let's go ahead and look at this one, stage two of five, because we're still kind of far away. Get ourselves an encounter with a Jangmo-O, and I'm 
if I'm not mistaken, this one's actually pretty good. I knew 405 was probably pretty good. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I thought this one was pretty good. Let's check the IVs on it after we catch it. Um, and then, yeah, we just need to do, uh, we'll go over a little bit of what this event entitles. Okay, Fifth, uh, 15, 11, and 13. So better than I was expecting, but uh, still not as good as that shiny 96 IV that we actually got um before go fest started so um let's head a little bit down the park and then let's go talk a little bit about what this new new event that is currently going on in titles okay so looking at i'm sorry that's kind of windy over here but looking at the uh event bonuses for this particular event uh it is event themed pokemon event themed raid process uh, bosses event themed real search uh, research in both time research available four times catch XP and four two times catch candy plus your friendship bonuses increase two times as quickly instead of one so make sure you're taking advantage of those because uh just because go fest is over doesn't mean the game is not going to be fun anymore the game you can still find a proper community to still play with the game will just be be as enjoyable or even sometimes more enjoyable than going to go fest at times at times but speaking of that we did um get ourselves a couple more tandem mouse i need to figure out this one ivy oh my goodness it's actually pretty good uh what is that 13 15 14 so definitely going to try to bought this one over hopefully i can get myself the family of four that'd be much appreciated and uh go ahead and use that to evolve over to uh yeah the family of four but nevertheless i'm going ahead and use my daily instance see what we can grab with that and then after that head on home because I've already got what I needed for today. I'm excited, so let's see. Okay, so just walking away, look what we got ourselves again. Dude, we're popping off today, man. Maybe this one got increased shiny eyes or something. I'm not really sure what's going on, but I, hey, I'm here for it. Please don't run away. It's another shiny, a shiny 86 Pseudo Wudo. Uh, I'm excited for it. And then if you guys don't even re uh, remember, the there is a new raid day coming out, as I mentioned in my last video, I think uh mega lucario uh will be coming out in a raid day i'll do a little bit of a recap over that at a later date but it is it will be coming out and when it does it's going to be a great time so let's keep going on i didn't even check the ivs on that thing um ivs are absolutely bad so don't even worry about it but I, I, let's keep going okay so just completed the daily instant really didn't get nothing too noteworthy i i even did a uh unknown raid uh unknown with this ivs decent unknown pretty decent i think this is a b i'm not really sure let me know down in the comments what this unknown is um got a 98 percent clink and uh, some other stuff but nevertheless this event looks like it's going to be turned out a good one we today we already got ourselves three shinies and we barely stopped at the house so um, i'm excited we did go ahead and uh evolve over our necrozma two of them today and uh go ahead and do a little bit of fusion so tonight i'll be evolving over my cosmog over to cosmom and then the lunala and then add that one to the shiny collection as well because we want both of them but nevertheless if you guys did enjoy this video please don't forget to like and subscribe as well as comment down below how did your go fest go and are you excited for this new event and are you excited for mega lucario raid day because i already know i am i already got some uh, lucarios lined up to mega evolve but nevertheless if you guys did please don't forget to like subscribe and without further ado you already know it's your boy Sizzlars. i'm signing off for another video i'm gonna catch y'all later peace